All right, I think we'll get started and we'll take it from there. Fantastic. All right, good morning all. Um, welcome, happy Friday morning. This is Matt Pilates with me. I'm Jason, I'm the head of fitness at Land Top of the Arts Club. Um, yeah, look, we're gonna have some fun. Uh, hopefully you joined the class Monday. If you didn't, we did a good all round session. Today's gonna be a little bit more core based. So more about your abs, about your obliques, a little bit about your glutes and hamstrings, and again, how we can set and use our abs. And hopefully uh, tomorrow you'll certainly feel that they've worked uh, by the time we are done. You don't necessarily need equipment. There may be a few exercises where if you have some equipment like mini bands or dumbbells, um, then I might recommend them. But for today, uh, predominantly we're gonna be basis on your body weight. Um, there is going to be a class next week, I'll give you the times at the end, um, but Wednesday I believe is going to be a resistance band class. So if you have a group of resistance bands at home, I'm going to give you a class, uh, a session on how you can use those as well. So that might be a good one if you're interested. Alright, uh, make sure you've got a drink with you. Um, if you have any injuries, any issues, again any pain when you do any exercises, just stop. Uh, if you've recently given birth, um, this may not be the most ideal class for you. Again, you may do some very basic levels of some of these movements, but again, any discomfort, please do stop. Uh, if you have just given birth, you need to have clearance from your doctor, I know that might be difficult right now. Uh, if there is something that you're having trouble with, uh, please do get in contact and uh, we, can, uh, we can help you through that. We can organize some stuff for you. Um, have fun and uh, yeah, enjoy. All right, so when you're ready, I want you to get to the top end of your mat. So we're going to start almost like we did uh, the other day. We're going to start with a series of movements to prepare you. It's really, really important that we prep for what we're doing. So we're going to start with a rollout, okay? So hands down to the floor. Again, if you've got tight hamstrings, you lack a bit of ability, that's absolutely okay. Just get your hands to the floor and then walk out into a press-up position. And walk all the way back up. Now, as you push back up, you want to feel like you're trying to drive your hips back up towards the ceiling so you get a stretch into your hamstring, okay? So we're going to do that again, we're going to keep rolling out into that movement. So hands down, walking out, pause for a second, and walking all the way back in. If you've just been doing a series of exercises, if you've done all the leg work, you may get a bit tight. So we want to try and make sure we have maximum mobility. Good, we're going to do that one more time. We're going to end up out into a push-up position, we're going to hold that push-up position, okay? Good, from there we're going to do is let our weight shift forward a few inches and back a few inches. Just this little rock forwards and back. Pushing more weight onto our hands and onto our toes. Just getting used to that position. Getting used to having weight in our hands and our toes. Because again, we're going to be using our arms and our torso to give us our body weight for our challenge, but then it's important you're able to control against it. Good. Okay, from there you're going to take your right hand outside, uh, right foot outside your right hand and take your right hand up towards the ceiling and try and create rotation from your torso. Try and turn your chest towards the side of the room, reach for the ceiling, or look at your fingertips as you reach, hold for a few seconds, bring the hand back down, take one leg back and switch. Opposite knee can drop down to the floor at this point, and again taking the arm up and creating that rotation. Again hold for a few seconds, bring it back down, we're going to switch legs again. Reaching up, really enjoy the stretch. And back down, and one more time. Switching legs. And really trying to reach into that movement, trying to get a really good stretch into the side of your torso and the hips as you hold that position. Good, and we're gonna take it into a specific hip flexor stretch from here. So we're gonna come back with the right foot forward, left knee touching down. What we're gonna do from here, just hands forward over your chest, not pushing onto the leg, is just lean forward so you get a little bit of a stretch into the front of your hip. Hold for a second or two, and then gently shift your weight back. So it's just a little rock forward and back. Just increasing a little bit of tension to the hip flexor and relax. We want to force loads of tension into it. We just want that little rocking motion. As you do this, try and squeeze into your glutes. Think about what we did on Monday if you were listening and watching. Big squeeze and relax. Just gonna do that for another five. Force your feet a bit of a stretch in the front of the left leg if you're a little bit tight in the hips. Last one. And we're going to switch legs. Left foot forward, right knee down. And again, just that little lean forward and back. Good squeeze of your glutes again to push the hips forward and to feel that stretch into the front of your hips. Good. Number three, two, 
one, and relax, good stuff. Something for balance, and we're gonna do a hamstring swing. Just gonna let your legs swing forward and back. Try and keep your torso still, try and stretch the leg by swinging up as far as you can in front, and away as far as you can behind, until you get to a point where you feel a bit of stretch in the back of your legs. Again, your mobility is gonna be very, very different to my mobility, okay? So don't look at me and don't think you're trying to create the same picture as me. You're just trying to get to a point where you feel the stretch on the way back in the front of the hip, maybe the glute, and on the way forward into the back of the leg. And we switch. As we switch, again, make sure you're not going to kick anything. That's really important. Obviously, in this case, I'm not going to kick Bert. He would be very disappointed if I did. And yes, I do have a name for my giraffe. That's fine. A couple more. Good, and lovely work. So again, we're trying to create a little bit of range for our hips. What we're going to do now is just a little bit more stretching for a little bit of your inner thigh. So what we're going to do is take your feet a little bit wide into a really kind of wide squat position, slightly bent knee, and all we're going to do is shift all the way over to one side, and then over to the other side, just in this little squatted position. We're not dropping down into a squat, we're just shifting the weight across. So one knee bends as the other leg straightens a little bit. Think about keeping the top half of your body in decent posture. And as you do a few more repetitions, you can start to sink down into that motion a little bit lower if you feel like it, until you again feel that stretch in your inner thighs. Again, this is very individual. Don't worry about my range. Don't worry about how far I'm going now. Think about it from your point of view. You want to feel a bit of a stretch. If you can get down into a good squatted position and you don't feel much, it's okay. Don't need to do it. Don't need to force into stretches. No such thing as forced stretches. We're doing this if you have some tightness because that might limit your mobility. If your mobility is not li limited, you're good to go. We're going to work really hard. Good. All right. Nice stuff. So in a thighs relaxed, glutes and hamstrings a little bit stretched out. Now we're going to think a little bit about creating glute and ab contraction. Okay. So we're going to go flat on our back. We're going to do some pelvic tilts. And again, we did this on Monday. If you remember it, you can go straight into it. Otherwise, if not, listen. Hands by your side. We're going to think about creating motion through our hips, our lower back, and our abdominals. Okay, the way we do that, if you think about pulling our rib cage down into the ground, pulling our rib cage down into the ground, and this naturally creates a tilt of our hips. We feel like we're pulling our body down, neutralizing that space where our lower back just creates a little arch off the floor, flattening down. You feel your hips tilt. We're just going to do that a few times. Try and flatten your back and relax. You should feel if you put your hands on your hips, you should be able to feel. Your hips create just that little tilting motion. And all we're going to do is exaggerate that just a little bit more. We're going to pull down, we're going to push into the floor, and we're going to push our heels into the ground a little bit and think about squeezing our glutes. And that's going to lift our backside just that inch off the floor and back down. So again, little tilt, pull the lower back down, squeeze into your abdominals, squeeze your glutes to your backside, just create that little lift off the floor and back down. Good. And again, little squeeze and relax. We're just going to keep those repetitions going. As you begin to feel your backside lift off the floor, put your hands on your backside. You should be able to feel it. Your glutes should be engaged. If you then take your hands to your abdominals, you should be able to feel your out. Creating this motion isn't possible without your glutes and abs working together. And that's how they're designed to work. You shouldn't really ever find that you're in a position where one's working and one's not because they work to stabilize that hip position. So if we go through today's class, we're going to continue to make sure that you're getting your abdominals as well as your glutes. Sometimes it'll be your hamstrings that'll be contracted as well. It might be your lats, it might be some of your upper back muscles, but there will always be more than one muscle involved. Your abs very, very scarcely work in isolation. In any movement, we want them to stabilize, not control whilst using other muscles. As you continue with this, I want you to think a little bit about your knee position and think about making sure your knees if anything, they're just a fraction wide. I don't want them just pointing towards the ceiling. I want them just a fraction wide in your head. A very slight V shape. If you have a mini band, you can always pop this just below your knees, and that'll give you just a bit of tension to push out against. That little tension out, that what we call external rotation, really does start to get your glutes working harder. For now, it doesn't matter too much. We're going to start to increase when you're ready. So you're going to start to lift up a bit further now. As we talked again on Monday, this is not you lifting up like a plank of wood, okay? This is you creating that glute squeeze and just lifting vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly controlling all the way up until again, big glute squeeze, big abdominal engagement. On the way back down, same again, bit by bit by bit, we work through the spine. 
I don't want to see anyone just lifting up and down wildly or pushing with the hips. It's all about that control through your abs and through your glutes. Keep that rolling motion going. And do three more. Should be starting to feel comfortable with that tilt and squeeze now. Really at the top of that mo motion, bring your hips are as high as they can be. Squeeze hard, knees push just a fraction wide. Squeezing, holding for a few seconds at the top. Good, time for one more. Tilt the hips, squeeze your glutes, drive up. Hands across your chest, just hold that position. Taking the hands away from the side of your body. Make sure you have to balance a little bit more. Keep squeezing, keep holding. Three, two, one, and relax. Good stuff, hug the knees into your chest, give a really good squeeze in, and just take a little rock from side to side. Good, now we're gonna challenge you a little bit more now by using that same motion that we just worked on to get a little bit of ab control, okay? so. What we're going to do from here again, staying lying down and take your legs up into a tabletop position. So tabletop is knee above your hip, feet flat towards the wall in front of the leg. Now, as you hold that position, we're going to think about this lower back position. Okay, All we're going to do is think about engaging your abs, creating that little bit of pelvic tilt. So we try to flatten just a little bit. As you do that, don't let your knees fall in towards you. Think about creating that squeeze here, keeping the legs still. Now from that position, you're going to take a deep breath in. Try and bring the legs slowly down towards the floor. Breathe out. Bringing it back up. Alternate the legs, breathe in. And breathe out as the leg comes back. And we're just gonna control that motion slowly up and down whilst maintaining that flat back position. Head stays down and controlled breathing. Your breathing dictates the rhythm here. Don't allow yourself to get quick. No hyperventilating, please. Nice and controlled. Really pulling down through the abs. So as you bring the leg down, and the slower you bring the leg down, the more you're going to feel your abdominals start to kick in. Really squeeze and pull your lower back down. Make sure you feel your abdominals creating the work. Anytime you need to reset, shake the hips, move around a little bit, start again, same motion. If it's a little easy, Feel free to bring both legs down at the same time, but again, only as far as you need to go to get your abs work. If you come down halfway, your back begins to arch, don't go any further. Just a little bit of range is enough. When you feel the abs working, that's what we're trying to do. So we're gonna keep going now for about another 20 seconds. Again, really make sure your abdominals are nice and set. Another five, four, three, two, and one. Feet down, take a nice deep breath, and again, just hug the knees in, give them a squeeze, and a little rock side to side. Don't worry if it's not difficult yet. This is just a warm up. It's going to get much worse, okay? So, we've done a little bit of setting. We do now need to get a little bit of glute activation. Now, we're gonna do a very small series of exercises that we did on Monday, so we're gonna do a clam shell, okay? We're gonna do one set, one set of 12 repetitions to get to a point where we can begin to feel our glutes work. Okay, so lying on your side, arm out, bent 90 degrees so your, hand can, your head can rest on your hands. I want your feet tucked back behind you. We talked about this on Monday. I don't want the knees in front of you. I don't want you to be able to see your knees as you look down. Okay, straight line through the body. Feet together, hand on your hip, keep the hips still. Little engagement through your abs. Push the heels together. Lift that top knee up. As you lift up, you're going to squeeze into that glute and push the right leg down as the left leg lifts up. Good, dropping back down. We do 12 repetitions, lifting up, really squeeze into that glute. Again, use your hand, feel that muscle work as you create that motion up and down. Good, that's six reps down, let's keep going. We're going for 12. Good, two more. Final one, lift the leg up, hold. Try to lift your feet now, keep the bottom knee pushed into the ground, hold. Keep holding that squeeze. Another five, four, three, two, one. And relax, very good. 
Got two legs. So we're going to switch over and do the same one to the other side now, okay? So, slight bend in the elbow, hand and head rests together. Feet tucked back, so as you look down your body, you can't see your knees sticking out. Heels together, hands on your hip. Keep the hip, heels together as you lift the top leg up and down. Good, six down. Let's try and do another six. Five. Four. Three. Really push that bottom knee into the ground. That'll help the glutes work. Two more. Good, last one. Lift the leg up. Hold. Little lean forward. Try and lift the knees slightly. Try and lift the feet. Push the knees down. Hold that top leg up. Hold that squeeze. Keep stabilizing. Three, two, one, and relax. Not bad, not bad at all. We're going to finish off with a pendulum movement now. So you're going to stay lying flat onto your back. Legs are going to come up into a tabletop position for me, okay? Hands out wide, palms flat onto the floor, knees and feet together. We're going to think about the exercises that we've done throughout this warm up and see if we can put them towards this movement. Keep the hands down, keep the shoulders down. Gently allow the legs to drop to one side without your shoulder lifting. Get to the point where you feel tension into the side of your torso, feel a little bit of glute and ab engagement, pause when you get there, come back to the middle. Again, deep breath in as we start to drop to one side. Keep the shoulder down, keep the knees together. Go as far as you need to to feel those muscles work to stabilize you. And breathe out coming back. In, deep in. And breathe out. Good. We're going to keep going. We do six to each side, okay? Good. Breathe in on the way down. Breathe out on the way up. Make sure that shoulder stays down. Make sure your legs stay in a tabletop position. Don't allow the knees to fall towards you. Make sure those knees stay together through that range. Good, two more. Good, keep controlling your breathing. Good, one more to each side. Good, one more time. And relax, very good. Hug the knees into your chest, give them a good squeeze, and take a little rock side to side. Good, grab yourself a very, very quick drink, and then we're gonna start our hard work. Just gonna make sure my music does not stop whilst we are doing this. Okay, all right, good stuff. Everyone feeling warmed and prepped, I hope. So, we're now gonna start our first movement. This is going to be a rollback, okay? Really simply, this is going to be the idea of allowing yourself to go from a very upright position to lying down on your back using your abdominals. So, we're gonna think about what we've used already today and think about how we control that pelvic tilt, and that's how we're gonna create this motion. So, good posture to start with, sitting up, feet flat on the floor, knees bent. Hands slightly in front, just as a little bit of a counterbalance. Keep the chin up. From here, we're gonna to start to tilt, and it starts from the bottom of our back. We're gonna tilt, we're gonna create that pelvic tilt as much as we can, and as slowly as we can, we're gonna keep rolling. One vertebrae at a time, until we come all the way down. When we see down, bring your hands down, push through your elbows and come back up. We're just working on the roll back. We're gonna add the teaser mo movement a little bit later on. From here, Again, just tilt the hips as much as you can. Try and imprint one vertebrae at a time. Think about your posture, the head stays up. Control, 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 slow, all the way down. Again, elbows down, push to come back up. We're gonna keep this motion going, so I'm gonna go for 10 repetitions here. Deep breath in, 
and breathe out as you start to control that motion down. Slowly, slowly, and slowly, all the way down. Elbows down, and push back up. Don't worry, that makes it easy for now. I promise it's gonna get real tough as we go along. You're really, really gonna use your abdominals throughout this session. We are looking at something around three seconds or so in that motion of going down. Don't rush it, try and control it. Keep the head and chest up. Don't stare at your knees. If you find it difficult to get all the way down to the bottom without just dropping, just try and take your time as much as you can. If you need to, you can always use your hands to just slowly encourage that movement. It's not a bad thing, it's all about progression. And then next time you do it, try and use your arms less and less. So we're gonna do two more repetitions here. Try and keep that controlled motion. Start with the hips, start with that pelvic tilt, keep the posture, roll through the spine. And then one more time. Tilt the hips, good posture. Squeeze through your abdominal, slowly roll all the way down. Good. Not bad. We're going to stay lying on your back because now we're going to go into the first part of our teaser movement. Okay? And this is going to involve what we call some deeper core activation. Now, we did this a little bit on Monday, and we're going to do a little bit more now. Okay. So, this is going to involve how you control through your breathing and use your deeper abdominal muscles. Okay. So, knees bent, feet flat, that's perfect. Hands by your side. Hands just a little bit off the floor. All we're going to do is take a big, deep breath in, literally as much air as you can take in. Really fill up your lungs. As you go to breathe out, I want you to reach as if you're gonna to touch your ankles, okay? So from there, you're gonna breathe out and you're just gonna lift your head and shoulders a couple of inches off the floor. You're not gonna drop your chin to your chest. You're not gonna throw your posture forward. You're just gonna breathe out and lift your head and shoulders. And you're gonna keep breathing out, keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing, all the way until you run out of air <coughs> and you do a little cough, okay? Again, allow the head to go back down, take a deep breath in. From there, breathe out. Keep breathing, keep breathing. <coughs> and back down. I want you to make that cough. That cough is a way that we use our deeper abdominals. Don't feel like it's a gimmick. It's about how we get it to work. The only other way to do it is to throw up, and I'm not gonna get you to do that this morning. Deep breath in, breathe out. Really try and lift the head and shoulders a few inches off the floor. Use that pelvic tilt, <coughs> and come all the way back down. Everything reverts back to that pelvic tilt we started with. So a little squeeze into your glutes and abs to start this movement, and that's gonna help you lift just that fraction further. Keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing, <coughs> and relax. The amount of time you can do this is different for everyone, so don't worry about the timing. Just breathe out until all your air is gone, and you do a little cough. Reset, deep breath in. And breathe out as you try to lift through the chest and create that motion. <clears throat> Good, a couple more for me. Deep breath in. <clears throat> Good, one last time. Deep breath in. Keep breathing, keep breathing. And relax, very good. A little hug of the knees into your chest. That was perfect. A little warm up for these movements. Now you're prepped. Now we can start working a little bit harder, okay? Good, so now we're gonna combine those two movements together. Okay, so first things first is a roll back. Good posture. Hands up, tilt the hips, squeeze your glutes and abs as slow as you can. Create that tension, feel your abdominals work. Slow, 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 slow. All the way down, take a deep breath in. Breathe out, lift the head and chest, keep breathing, keep breathing, feel those deep breaths work, <coughs> and relax, elbows into the ground, sit yourself up, and we do the roll back again. We're gonna repeat those two exercises eight times. Good posture, tilt from the hip, squeeze from your abdominals, slow as you can, use your abs as you roll all the way down. From there, deep breath in, Lift up through the abdominals. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. And relax, elbows in. Back up, we do it again. Good chest position. Control through the abs. Control that roll down. Slow as we can. Good. Hands by your side, deep breath in. Breathe out, reach 
through your ankles. Keep going. Lift through the chest. Keep breathing out. Good. Elbows into the ground. Lifting up. Good. You're feeling okay? Yeah, I think we're doing okay. Good stuff. Let's see if we've got a comment now. Good. All right. So, we've got four more to go. A little roll back. Control the motion. From there, deep breath in. Breathe out. Lift the head and shoulders. Really try and lift that little extra inch now. Really keep breathing out as hard as you can. And really get to that point where you feel the abs engaging. You should be beginning to feel your abs. Deep breath in and control, roll through that range, slowly down, deep breath in, try and extend up, really use those abdominals, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, good, and relax, good, a few more times, should be starting to get that work, hands up, good posture, create that tilt, squeeze into your glutes and out, think about that pelvic tilt, remember, slow it down, don't let gravity win, you're in control, Learn to control your body weight. That's the challenge here. Breathe out, lift up, pull through your abs. A little bit more now, really challenge it. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And relax, elbows down. Lift yourself up, two more. Good posture. Create that pelvic tilt, squeeze through your abdominal. Good. Breathe out. Coming up, pull into your abs as hard as you can. You should be feeling them now. They should be rock solid. Keep breathing all the air, all the air, all the air, all the air. <clears throat> A little cough. And down one more time of each for me, okay? Little pelvic tilt. Squeeze into your abdominals. Good. Deep breath in. Come on, really challenge yourself. Get that little extra lift through the chest. Three, two, one. One, and relax. Hug the knees into your chest, a little rock side to side. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's your first break, okay? Grab yourself a very quick drink. Should be feeling the abs are really switched on now. Good. Feel free to add any comment or emojis or hearts, let me know if you are starting to feel your abs, I hope so. If not, it's gonna get worse, so look forward to that as we continue to go along. Okay, so, we are gonna do another series of rollbacks and go into a more challenging teaser position a little bit later, but first we're gonna go for a series of side planks first. So, uh, sorry, planks and side planks. So we're gonna look at challenging you uh, and how you kind of stabilize in that four point position now. Um, we're gonna predominantly teach it in on hands and toes. If at any point you feel like you're getting a lower back tension or anything like that, drop down onto your knees and do the same thing from your knees. Uh, if you have questions while you're doing it, please put it in the comments. I do have my laptop all set up so I can, uh, I can see if anyone has any specific issues and try and make some modifications if necessary. So, first things first, we're just gonna set up into a plank position. I want everyone to just do a, a static hold with me to start with, which is hands below your shoulders, feet a little bit wide, up on your toes. Now most issues with a plank that I'll ever see are people getting a little bit too low. I'd actually rather you were slightly stuck up with your hips in the air than slightly too low. So I'd always rather just that flat back position. So only a straight line from shoulder down to your toes. I want flat between your shoulders and your hips. I'm going to imagine you have a tray of drinks on your back, okay? So I'm going to do our first plank just up in this position, okay? The reason we're going to do that is because we're going to do a series of moves where we move around from here. So we did it earlier where we did forward and back. Now I want you just to shift slightly side to side. Try not to hunch your shoulders. Think about squeezing under your armpits. And just gently rocking from side to side. Now a little bit forward and back. Again, just getting used to being in that position. Side to side, forward and back. Good. If your wrists ever get uncomfortable, it's usually a sign that you're getting too much weight forward. So just try and find that healthy medium where you feel like your core is working to stabilize you, okay? Good. Now luckily for you, the first plank position is a little bit kinder and we are gonna start onto our forearms. Okay, so you can drop down onto your forearms. Again, same process about having a flat back. Again, I don't want those hips to drop, okay? So hands wide, I don't want to see those hands together. 
keep the elbows wide, feet apart. What we're going to do is hold this first plank, okay? We're going to think about our eye line down, straight between our hands. And think about that pelvic tilt we created earlier on. Think about that squeeze into your glutes and abs. You should be able to feel them work just from holding that position. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely stuff. So a nice, simple static plank. And we're going to do a few of these, okay, as we go along. But we're also going to add a leg lift. So, same motion, elbows down, onto your forearms, into a plank. Squeeze into your abs, and just lift your right leg. Three, two, one. Same lifting the left leg. Three, two, one. We're doing that twice on each leg. Three, two, one. And again. Three, two, and one. Good, feet down, knee down. Okay. That's what we're going to do. We're going to repeat that now twice more. Still think about setting your abs, creating that little pelvic tilt. That's really, really important for setting that position whilst we do it, okay? Okay. Again, as I'm happy to say, I'd rather your hips are a fraction high than a fraction low. I've demonstrated this a little bit deliberately that we're a little bit high. I want people copying me getting a little bit low. If you're happy to challenge the hips a bit lower, you can, but only if you're feeling your abs, not if you're feeling it into your lower back, okay? Same again, onto your forearms. Good abs squeeze, lifting one leg. Hold that position. Three, two, one. Foot down, same on the other side. Three, two, one. And again. Three, two, one. And again. Three, two, one. And relax. Good. Knees down, take a deep breath. Even on a basic static position where you have to squeeze and use your abs there, should be able to feel them again. Nothing's falling off yet, but we're going to start now really transitioning to really challenging movements. Okay, it's quite hard to actually teach while I do this and talk. I'm not getting my breathing right, so I hope you're getting your breathing right. You listen to me, don't breathe how I am. Okay, all right, so one more time, come down into that plank position. We do that leg lift. Okay, good abs squeeze. Think about that pelvic tilt. Lift the right leg three, two. One, and lift the left leg. Three, two, one. And the right leg again. Three, two, one. And the left leg again. Three, two, one. And relax. Perfect. You guys are ready for the hard work. So, side plank this time. It's where it starts to get a bit more of a chat. So, you're gonna lie on your side facing, oh sorry, your left hand side. Left elbow is down, left elbow is beneath your left shoulder. That's very important. Feet position. Some people like to stack their feet. I always prefer people to have their top leg just in front of their bottom leg. It's going to help when we add some rotation shortly. Okay, so feet down. You're going to push into your feet and you're going to push into your elbow and lift your hips just one inch off of the floor. Just that little lift, okay? If you feel more comfortable with the knee down, that's okay too, as long as you feel these muscles into the side of your body working, okay? Top arm can come up now, reach for the ceiling. That motion there allows our hips to extend and push through the left arm. And we should begin to feel these muscles in the side of our torso work. Three, two, and one. Allow the hips to come back down. Take a deep breath. And we go again. Hands up. Push through the elbow. Push through the feet. Again, lifting the knee if you wish. And again, we hold. Three, two, and one. All the way back down. Not bad, we're gonna do that a third time. Three, two, one. Push through the arm, push through the feet, reach the arm up, and hold. Keep breathing, keep the eye line straight ahead, don't tuck the chin down. Three, two, one. And relax, good stuff. I'm going to switch over to the other side. I'm going to open a window. It's starts to get a little warm in here. All right, so coming onto your right arm now, right elbow below the right shoulder. Top leg for me is just in front of the bottom leg. It's very individual for you, that's up to you. I prefer it that way. If you want your feet stacked, you can. Push through the elbow, top arm up, 
and lift up. Again, that knee can push down if you feel more comfortable in that position, but I want you to extend up, reach the arm up, pull up through the side of your body. Five, four, three, eye line stays straight ahead, remember. Two, one, and down. Good, take a deep breath. Try and keep breathing through that motion, don't hold your breath. Three, two, one, and we come back up. Again, setting and holding, squeezing through your abs as you hold that high position. Eye line straight ahead, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Not bad, I'm looking good. One more time for me, okay? Push into that arm, a little bit of weight into the feet, extend the hips up high, reach the arm up, squeeze and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and back down. Not bad at all. So, now we go into the hard bit. We're gonna go into what we call a side to side plank, okay? So we're gonna combine those movements that we've just done and give you a bit more of a challenge. So, rather than having your forearms in front, we're gonna have them side to side, okay? And we're gonna roll through this motion of going from side to side within our plank. So, same plank position, forearm side to side, feet wide. From there, push through the right arm, reach the left arm, turn, toes turn a fraction, reach the arm up, look for your fingers, hold for a second, Bring the arm back next to the other arm. And again, we rotate up, reaching the arm up. A little rotation from the body, we want that twist, okay? So each time you do this, look for your fingers. Turn your torso through this motion. Hold at the top for a second before coming back down. Keep switching. Think about keeping the hips up and push hard through the toes. Push hard through the forearm on the floor. One more to each side. Good, knees down. We are gonna do that again. Quick drink if you wish, and then we go. I really should not have left the heat on in here. It is now a little bit of a sauna. Whew. But I hope you're all warming up as well. That's the idea. So we go again. Forearms down, I'm gonna go into that side to side plank. <clears throat> Twist, reach for the fingers. Sorry, reach for the ceiling, look at your fingers. Bring the arm back down. And again. Keep pushing the hips high as you turn. One more to each side. Good. Again, knees down, take a quick rest. more of these to go and again we're going to do four to each side forearm side to side be a little bit apart top arm comes up reach look for the fingers bring it back down gently switch Good. little pause at the top Squeezing into your glutes and abs to hold those hips high. And relax. You're going to drop into a child pose stretch. Drop your hips to your heels. Knees slightly angled out. Chest to the ground, head to the ground. And just reach the arms forward into a stretch as much as you can. side to side, I hope you just get a little bit more stretch into the side of your torso. 
three, two, and one. Again, if you want to grab a very quick sip, that's fine. So we talked earlier, we did a little series of rollbacks and a start of a, that upward sitting motion, kind of creating a little bit of a, a starting motion of what we call a teaser. We're now going to create a bit of rotation in the rollback before we add the extended range of your teaser. Okay, so again, you're going to get set up so that your feet are flat. I'm going to create just a little bit of a rollback position. Okay, so we're going to think about that happening from our glutes and abs. Okay, so we're not upright. We're going to create just that little bit of tilt back. Hands out wide. From here, take your left arm to your right. Follow your hand. Reach it up and bring it over. Okay, so all that movement is happening is that we're turning our chest, reaching high. So they're the two movements that really get our abs to work and our obliques to work. So we rotate, they get to our oblique. Extension high allows us to challenge our upper abs and think about holding our ribcage. Okay? And that's tough. That's a difficult motion to do. So you're going to do it on both sides now. You're going to think about creating that motion by bringing your right hand to the left and reaching it up towards the ceiling as well. Okay, so a little roll back. Just enough so you can feel the abs and hold. Head up, chest up. Right hand to the left. Reach it up and over. Left hand to the right. Reach it up and over. Good. You can set a little bit of pace here. Deep breath in and breathe out through the motion. Breathe in. Breathe out through the motion. Breathe in. Breathe out through the motion. As you do this, don't allow yourself to slump. Keep the chest lifted. If you need to reset, that's okay. If you start to feel it a little bit into your hips, two options. Either find something like a, a sofa like here where you can tuck your feet underneath and just relax. It'll help you hold your feet a little bit. Or you can try and do the opposite and try and have your feet lifted up a little bit higher and just take a very slight roll back position. And again, you'll feel your abs in that movement. But think about that chest up. And if you need to reset, reset. Okay, we're gonna do the same on each side five times. So, little roll back position. Hands up, chest up, left to right. Reaching up and over, right to left, up and over. Keep controlling your breathing for me. One more. Good, not bad. How are the abs feeling? Everyone still feeling them? Again, feel free, send me a thumbs up, send me some sort of crying emoji perhaps, if that's how you feel your abs are getting tired. Take a few seconds. We're gonna do another set of those. And then again, we are going to work through the full teaser movement and really, really start to get those abs challenged, okay? So, good posture, little roll back. Think about that tilt happening from that pelvic tilt we discussed earlier. Good chest position, hands wide. Left to the right, up and over. Right to the left, up and over. Turn your body through it. Look at the arm that moves. That movement will allow you to turn through the chest. This will work into your obliques to set this movement. Good, one more to each side. And relax, good work. And we've got an ouch. Okay, that's a good bit of feedback, I like that. Good, all right, so we are gonna go into a teaser movement now. So we're gonna work a little bit on what we worked on earlier. And this is gonna to be tough when your abs are tired. So if you find it difficult, that's absolutely fine. In fact, I'll be delighted if you find it difficult. So flat onto your back, a teaser movement it's going to ultimately create a position where we go from our legs being in tabletop and we're going to create a sitting movement where we're going to reach for our toes. As we do that, we're going to extend our legs away. Now, in a very, very strict teaser, we get to the point where your legs are dead straight towards sort of the top of the wall behind you, reaching for it. That's going to be tough for everyone in this progression. So all I'm going to focus on doing for now is just giving you that point of creating that motion and coming up. So all that's going to do is that your legs are going to extend they don't have to be dead straight. And you're going to think about using that pull through your abdominals that we did in that base exercise earlier to sit yourself up. Once you're sitting up, 
try to balance, try not to put your feet down if you can, and then use that roll back movement we challenged earlier to roll all the way back down. So, legs up in tabletop. From that position, you're gonna reach for your toes. Legs extend and you come up into a teaser position. From there, think about using your abs and roll back down, nice and slow. Again, legs into tabletop, reach for your ankles, up through abs, balance at that top position, good posture, and then again, use your abdominals and roll through that motion all the way back down. We're gonna do that eight times. If you find that too difficult, you can't balance, keep your feet down and do the motion to start with and create that pull up through your abs. If you need to, you can always use your legs as well as a prop and bring yourself up, lift the legs, and then rolling back down. As long as you are being challenged through the abs, that's all I really want. Good posture when you're at the top, try and elevate the collarbones. If you want to straighten your legs up in that position, you can. My hamstrings won't quite allow me to do that and look graceful, so I'm not going to. And now again, use your abs to roll all the way back down. I'm going to go for three more here. As you continue to do this, think again about your breathing. Breathe out as you come up. Breathe in at the top, breathe out on the way back down again for me, okay? Time for a couple more. Again, reaching up. Use your abdominals to pull you up. Chest up. Legs stay extended as much as we can. And then use your abs. Roll through the spine on the way back down. One more time. Coming up. Holding there. Hold that position. Five, four, three, two, one. And rolling back down. Lovely work. Hug your knees in and give them a good squeeze. So hopefully by now again, your abdominals are working even harder. Really, really starting to get challenged. So we've got two more exercises in our abdominal circuit before we get to go on to just a little bit of full body stuff just to make sure you really, really work today. We're nearly there, we've got like six minutes or so. so. All right, so we're gonna go back into our plank position. We're gonna do a challenge where we're gonna go from a, far, a forearm plank into a panned plank position, okay? Good, Alexia, I'm glad it was tough. Okay, so, onto your forearms, plank position, feet a little bit wide. Think again about that pelvic tilt. I know I've gone about it, but that's why we did it at the start. I want you to think about it. Okay, so, squeeze your glutes and abs. Hold that position one hand at a time. We come up into a press up position, one forearm at a time, back down. Alternate the arms if you wish. And we're gonna do that eight times. If you find it tough to hold that plank, you can always do this on your knees as well. As long as you're getting that ab engagement, you're creating that squeeze, I am happy. As you move up onto your hands, try for a challenge to keep your hips nice and still. See if you can do it without your hips really moving at all. One more. Back onto your forearms. Good, knees down, deep breath. You know we're gonna do this three times, we've done everything three times so far. Okay, onto your forearms, eight reps, let's go. Three, two, one. One arm up, second arm up, pause for a second. And then back down. Good, again rest when you've done those eight. You're starting to feel your arms and shoulders get a bit fatigued as well, that's okay. You're using the whole body to challenge yourself. That's pretty normal. A few deep breaths here. 
And then we are going to do it one final time. Hopefully we're feeling good. You won't hate me too much when we get to the last bit. All right. Forearms again, feet a little bit wide. Eight more reps. Let's go. Up onto your hands, pause, and down. Good. Again, a little pause at the top. Don't ignore that. Good. That's four reps down. Last one, and relax. Hips to your heels, chest to your knees, and reach the arms in front. Again, enjoying that child's pose stretch. Not too bad at all. So, we are going to finish with a mountain climber, okay? So again, this is going to be in a press-up position. If you're feeling your arms and shoulders are getting pretty fatigued, being flat on the ground, then just find something that's a little bit more angled up. So again, my sofa here would be a great example. Something that's going to be a little bit less tension for the shoulders, not going to be a much weight forward, if that's okay. I'm going to demonstrate down here on the floor. All we're going to do is we are going to spend 30 seconds trying to get a good set of movement of so challenging you as you move your arms. Uh, sorry, move your knees towards your elbows. So feet a little bit wide, right knee, left elbow, left knee, right elbow. And we're just going to keep going. Try and think about your hips staying still as you drive the legs into the motion. As your knee goes across towards the opposite elbow, you should find your abs and obliques work to create a little bit of rotation and a little bit of stability. 30 seconds seems to go on for quite a long time. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax, very good. We're gonna do two more sets of 30 seconds before you're free to enjoy the rest of your day. Should be feeling your obliques and your abs now, I hope so. Okay, take a deep breath, set up back in that press up position, feet wide, we go in three, two, and one. Right knee, left elbow, left knee, right elbow. Try to create a little bit of pace as we go through. Head stays still, looking down at the floor. Shoulders stay relaxed, abs working to help create the movement. Five, four, three, two, and one. Again, just relax into a stretch. Before we do it, one final time. Good, back up into a press up position. Last time, I should be feeling real worked by now. All right, shoulders relaxed, eye line down. Right knee, left elbow, left knee, right elbow. Really try and create a turn of the hips as that knee comes up. Ten seconds to go. Three, two. One, and relax. Just gonna stay on your hands and knees this time and we're gonna go into a little back mobility stretch. So flat back, looking down at the floor. You're gonna pull your belly button down, tilt your hips and lift your head. Really try and curve as much into your back as you can. Then we're gonna reverse. But we start from your lower back. Don't move your head first. Think about creating that pelvic tilt. Squeeze into your glutes. Go bit by bit, work along your spine. Eventually the chin drops as you pull your rib cage up towards the ceiling. And then reverse, start from the head this time. 
head starts to work, and then you roll down the spine, creating that tilt. This time we start from the glutes, create that pelvic tilt, roll up through the spine, pull up through the ribcage, the chin then drops down. One more time, head comes up through the top of your back, middle of your back, the lower back, we really push the ribcage down. And one more time, squeeze the glutes, create that tilt, pull up through the abs, roll through the spine, staring back at your knees. And one more time, drop the heels back to your hips, uh, hips down to your heels, chest to your knees, and reach the arms out in front, and just a very gentle rock from side to side. And good job, congratulations, you have finished Friday morning Matt Pilates, in particular a real core session for you today. I uh, hope you had fun, please do leave me some feedback, it'd be great to know if there's certain things you want in the next sessions. Uh, next week we're doing uh, Matt Pilates on Tuesday and Thursday morning at 9 o'clock, and on Wednesday lunchtime um, it is going to be a resistance band class.